Okay, let's talk about Vince. And the reason why we have to talk about Vince is because this crazy 77-year-old uh, businessman who has taken wrestling from the smoky clubs and national, all that whole thing. You know what I realized? And, and we'll get to the story here in a second. But yeah, no one main... else did that before him. He did it. He, yeah, exactly. He did it all. Yeah, exactly. The mainstream media is fascinated by this guy. Yeah. It's not just us wrestling fans. And I will say us wrestling fans are way more tired of Vince than the media. And I think it's because he's the story, right? Like he creates stories for people to write about. And so I will. So an article came out today from the Wall Street Journal. And in this article, uh, Lauren Thomas from the Wall Street Journal. And some of this was Vince's own like press release, I believe, where he wrote some of this that uh, the, the writers were getting information from. She wrote, Mr. McMahon, who has majority voting power through his ownership of WWE's Class B stock, has told the company that he is electing himself and two former co-presidents and directors, Michelle Wilson and George Berrios. Now, end, end the quote, because he fired them, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Okay. They quote, came back, which is crazy. Quote again. They, uh, he's electing them to the board. Uh, the move to reinstate Mr. McMahon, which the board previously rebuffed just last month mm -hmm. when he wanted to come back last month, they said, you know, Vince, we'll have this conversation, but we don't think it's in the, it's in the best interest of the company. Uh, and, and, what's, and what Vince wants is he wants himself, George, Michelle, to be elected to the board. And then three people... Probably three people who don't want Vince back mm -hmm. to be eliminated uh, and vacate vacating their positions on the board. So he started talking about this, like I said, in December. Vince's reason for wanting to come back. This is his public reason. He believes there's a narrow window to kick off a sales process because WWE's meeting media rights, including uh, Raw and SmackDown are about to be renegotiated, and he believes the media landscape is evolving quickly, and more companies are looking to own the intellectual property they use on streaming platforms, making WWE an attractive takeover target. Um, and the company, uh, and, and so Vince is basically saying, if you do not bring me back, I, because I have all the the voting shares, I am not going to approve any media deals and any sale because I don't trust essentially this is not him what he's saying but this is me reading it, because he doesn't trust that they're going to be able to negotiate for the best deal without mm -hmm. him okay so that's kind of the the cliff notes version uh, of what is going on here and I, I I was just trying to figure out why like what is the reason here why does he need to be the chairman? which is Stephanie McMahon's current position today. Mm -hmm. Why does he have to be the chairman in order to make the best sale? Can't he just be involved in this in, in some way? Yeah. And so it was just kind of like trying to figure out the pros and cons. And, and here are a couple for me. And if you have any pop in and, and people, I am by no way an expert on how this process works. If you have some insight, shoot me an email, gg at fightgamemedia.com. I'm very interested to hear what, what people think about this, especially those who, you know, may have some insight into how this generally works. But my, my original thought was, okay, Vince is trying to do a power play here. He's threatening to make things hard for the current regime by not approving what they want to do with the, the future negotiations. And by doing that, he is basically saying, bring me back or else this is going to be a very crappy process. Now, in the same press release that I think he his, his team wrote, he did say that he's not coming back to interfere with what anyone's trying to do. <laughs> and that's, that's, So that doesn't really connect for me. Uh, so one theory, I think, is that 
what he's trying to do is position himself in that if there is a sale, he will still be on in, in the chairperson's seat. And if they sell, let's say to Comcast, that's a theory that's out there. When that sale goes through, they can't then boot him. He's there. He's existing in that seat. But if this sale happens without him, his mm -hmm. fight to get back into the company will be even harder. So I've, I, that, that, I've sort of pieced that together, just talking to people around, you know, getting their thoughts. That's kind of uh, what, what I've come up with. Um, and then I guess if, you know, I, I think one of it is who are those three board seats? Like who are the people mm -hmm. who, who he wants to get rid of? And then it, what if he does get the power back? Like who's it's going to be uh revenge of, yeah. of the Vince, right? Like anybody who wasn't team Vince or anybody who has sort of been happy since he left. It's like, and, and this came up today and someone said <clears throat> FTR. And I was like, FTR better not hope Vince comes back. Cause they're like the triple H dandy, right? Like they're, yeah. and, and that would be bad for them. And that would be bad for uh, uh, some of the, the wrestlers who are thinking of using both companies to negotiate with because Vince is kind of out of it with, with some of this talent, you know? And, and so that's, that's kind of uh, who I feel a little bad for when it comes to this is like, Oh yeah, you, all of you guys are going to lose negotiating power if Vince uh, comes back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the other thing about this that I find really fascinating is like I said, this mainstream media uh, is almost like, at least the headlines and some of the pieces I've read, it's almost like, oh, this is a done deal. Vince is coming back. Like, yeah. And from what I understand, they still have to vote him back. And if they don't vote him back, mm -hmm. then I'm not sure what his play is unless there's lawsuits or, or whatever. But it seems like he's definitely trying to create a pro-Vince board of directors yeah. so that he can get his way. Because right now, it doesn't look like that's what it is if they're voting him not to come back. So just kind of, you know, it's, it's just really insanity at WWE. And if you think about it, the stock price shot up today yeah, just know. by the thought of Vince coming back to sell the company. And it might be just this big game of Vince coming back, promising to sell the company. And then when he gets there, he's like, nope, we missed our window. We're yeah. not selling right now. And then he's just back for being back, back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great theory as well. And I know we talked privately about that before we recorded. Um, I'm just hoping they didn't use all the bullets in the gun when whoever has all the you know dirt stuff. You know, I'm hoping. Uh, yes. I hope, I hope there was like levels. Like, okay, we got <laughs> sex scandal, and we got you know next level if something else happens. So, you know, I just don't. I mean, personally, I just don't want Vince back. I think I, I've I've loved the positive energy. Um, coming out of WWE since uh, Vince was removed, you know, I'm not, I don't hate Vince or anything like that and all that stuff, but I just could tell like it just overall battle quality show. I mean, I don't watch Raw. I know Raw people have issues with Raw, but you know, what we've been talking about on their, our show, like we like SmackDown and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. and from including the, the, the biggest SmackDown number that they've done yeah. in a long time on Friday. Exactly. And, and from the vibe I've gotten from there is just, just, overall positive you know energy within yeah. so that's one of my i'm like i it just i just kind of hope that this is just the old man trying to kick up dust you know but i mean it's so funny how he brought back uh barrios and um was it wilson you said right yeah yeah and I'm, it's like why would you come back to such a volatile like person like that that's like one day you walk in and you're trying to tell him how about about the about the streaming service, about the network and what you yeah. want to do. And he's like, nah, do something <laughs> else. You know what I mean? And then you're gone. Like, why would you want that? And what Vince normally does, and he did this with bringing back Bruce, bringing back John Laurinaitis, is just he he goes and finds people, his people, to surround himself yeah. to say yes, right? And, and that's what a lot of corporations just do. But it's just really frustrating for me personally. I know, you, you know, I don't know all the ins and out on the business side, you know, it's not my strong point, but when I heard the news, I just would, I just rolled my eyes and said, Oh my goodness gracious. Like what's going on here. So my, my first thought was exactly what you said is that 
whoever's been leaking to the Wall Street Journal, Vince must think that the worst of it is out mm -hmm. there, right? Yeah. Or he thinks that there the stuff there could be worse stuff, but so far in his experience, it hasn't really been that bad. Like he's just been sort of moved to the next. You know, it's next story. What's next? Because yeah. that's that's kind of what happened to, to the Dana White thing, right? Dana White. Now, there's still some repercussions here with the Dana White situation because that totally. power slap league yeah. got pushed back a week, and we'll see if it even if it even happens. But Dana White was in was kind of a, a news story until the situation happened with that that player on Monday Night Football, and then that was the 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 story. So the the the, the news cycle moves so fast. And I wonder if that's part of Vince's playbook. He's just like, yeah, I'll take a beating for a couple of days, but then something else worse will happen. <laughs> and and also what it does show you, though, is that his name is not that big, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like he's the head of CBS or he's the head of this, this giant media yeah. company, right? Where the that that story would would stay. So to to his advantage, you know, he's still just the carny wrestling promoter to a lot of people to the mainstream media, but they dig the stories that come out about this crazy old man.